welcome to the last edition of our ETV magazine. Today we're focusing on the subject of young professionals. We'll also be taking a look back at Electronica 2012 and giving you a short overview of the trade fair statistics. But first, let me introduce today's topics. Young Professionals Electronica Roundup The electronic sector is one of the industries that's especially affected by the shortage of specialists. Electronica is trying to do something to combat this problem with the Student Day in the Electronica Forum, which is celebrating its premiere this year. Together with the industry associations, the Munich Trade Fair is organizing lectures and networking events for the up-and-coming engineers. One of the highlights is the presentation of the Cosima Awards. Each year, this competition challenges students, technology enthusiasts, and bright minds to find potential new applications for microsystems in various areas of life. They are supposed to work on their own and develop new application concepts based on existing microsystems. The winning team from TU Darmstadt will receive prize money, but that's not the only positive effect. The team who wins the Cosima Award has good chances to be headhunted before they leave university. I'm standing here with Tobias from the Technical University in Darmstadt. So Tobias, tell me what's your invention called and what does it do? Uh, we, call, we invented uh, a security system for stroller. Uh, it detects if your hands are next to uh, the handle and depending on that we break the system. Okay. So if you're walking with your buggy, you can use it just like every day, but as soon as your hands go off and there might be a safety problem with your child, which I can cause an asking, a slope or something like right, that. Then we can stop the, the stroller. So I can show you. Yeah, I show my me. hands are on the uh, handle yeah. and I let it go and it breaks automatically. Wow, that's fantastic. <laughs> I'm sure the people in San Francisco or any hilly city would be crazy without it. Yeah, so maybe we should think about exporting there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and do you have any plans to produce the item? Uh, right now we're in contact uh, with the producer of the stroller and uh, it might be available. Yeah, I think it'd be great to yeah. have something like that integrated on strollers as a safety function. Well, Tobias, thank you so much. I wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you very much. The jury awarded the two other projects equal second place. The students from the University of Saarland won their award for their Quasimodo project. We have invented a system that is monitoring the posture of a person and uh, it shall prevent back pains from bad posture. And we do this by, with acceleration sensors in three dimensions. The sensors measure the posture of the spine, head and shoulders. If bad posture or too little exercise is detected, the wearer is alerted. The other award goes to the Westsächsische Hochschule Zwickau. The students developed a new form of garden lighting. The X panel is a plate for the garden and the idea is to step on it and get light into the garden without the wire from the house. And if you step on the first plate uh, or the other plates around you in a circle about three meters, uh, also go on. And if you walk on the plates, so every blade will start lightning in front of you and behind you. The team want to adapt the technology behind the X panel in the future for other applications in and around the house. At Student Day, companies get involved in an effort to prevent the much trumpeted shortage of professionals. More about that in our statement of the day. Well, I think Companies need to help support colleges and universities to drive more students to become interested in studying engineering. We do this by, by helping fund uh, college scholarships, but we also do it by hiring college students as well and putting them into the workplace. I think that's really the best way for companies to engage with young people to help them study engineering so that for the next two or three decades, we'll always have a good supply of, of semiconductor engineers. Parallel to Student Day, a training day takes place. Growing mechanization and the long-term risks of demographic change boost the demand for electronics professionals. So Electronica broaches these issues with the students. 
15 to 18 year old pupils from Bavaria get the chance to take a look at electronics professions for a day. The industry recognizes how necessary this is. We are in a desperate need of young, talented people to create these new ideas which can be implemented to make our life easier. To that effect, the supposedly uncool image of electronics gets a revamp. It is a hip job, I would say, because you are really at the edge of technology. Look all these applications we have in solid state lighting. Could you imagine 10 years ago that this would ever work? Now we are there, it's working and it's even improving. It's really tremendous what we are doing there and it's very interesting, definitely. And what do the future engineers think about Student Day? Yeah, I think it's a great chance to see what in the reality is possible. At school there are the basics and um, here you see um, what you can do if you, if you are in business then. I just like it and it's, yeah, it's fantastic. The world's leading trade fair for components, systems and electronics applications has come to an end for the 25th time. Electronica 2012 was a resounding success. Norbert Bagman, deputy CEO of the Munich Trade Fair, is with us now. Mr. Bagman, tell me about your conclusions for Electronica 2012. Uh, we have good experience this year. We received more than 70, 72,000 visitors from more than 78 countries. Wow. That is an increase, mm -hmm. uh, so we are very happy. Well, Herr Bachmann, it was okay. certainly a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you so much, okay. and I look forward to Bye -bye. Electronica 2014. It wasn't only the Munich Trade Fair Association that was happy with the results, but also the advisory board and the many visitors. Electronica 2012 has been the best electronica for our company ever. We had so many, so many visitors at our booth and so many good discussions, so many high level meetings, um, incredible. So we are very satisfied. We have customers from all over the world here on the booth in Munich. That was really a tremendous experience. It's very busy from the morning till the evening, always a full booth and it's very profitable for us and beneficial. The engineers, as I said, are coming to the show and they're coming with real problems and they're solving not the problems of today but the problems of tomorrow. There's an old saying, if you fear the death then you're also dead and I think there's no need for that and we are still looking very positive into the future. Our last ETV broadcast for Electronica 2012 is drawing to a close. Until the next Electronica, you can find all the episodes online at electronica.de. Thanks for tuning in, and we hope to see you again at Electronica 2014.